Hi and welcome to the Felt Chat. If you're new here, I'm Mrs. Cute Felts and I'm so happy you found me. These are monthly series where I share with you what I have made during the past few weeks and what are my plans for this month. If you are returning, then you may have a question why am I trying to show you my whole house? Well, I'm not. I'm just chasing the light because today is quite rainy and gloomy day outside and it tends to get really dark in my craft room. So we are going to hang out today here in our living room. I received some comments about my last fell chat asking where are my fur babies? I know they are the main reason besides the felts. Why are you following me? I have to apologize, but they are having their best time outside and I will let them because I believe they were pretty concerned that winter will be here forever as this was their first winter and they haven't seen the changes in the seasons yet and they have been completely crazy for the last few days when it's finally green and sunny outside although today it's rain they are still asking me to let them outside to play there's a fair chance they won't come in for this episode but if they do i will make sure i include those clips moving on i think we can jump right in and pick winner for my giveaway I announced in my last felt chat. I will be recording my screen as I use a YouTube comment picker to pick a random winner for this giveaway. I will try to record it and share it with you somewhere here. Hopefully I will figure out how to do that. So I am pasting link to my video and we will now pick a winner. It's Santia with her <laughs> lovely idea of a felt painting of fun opossum me. And Santia is my bestie, so this is not quite fair. I think we can pick another winner. Santia, you will get your opossum me, I promise. You're amazing. And Santia was the person who helped me with the text for my doubt tutorial. And now we have picked Donna Warno, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. And you would like to see baby chicks in flower garden. This is so cute. I can't imagine quite yet what I'm about to create, but I will make sure I share it with you in the video. You will see the making of this piece and I hope Donna will love it. I would really appreciate Donna if you would contact me using my email or on my Instagram, whichever works for you best, so I can gather information for the shipping. Congratulations! Sorry about the change, it's the next day and editing this video I realized that I forgot to mention some really important and exciting things, so I will quickly jump in, share them with you and then we will get back to the yesterday's recording. So the first thing is these beautiful Gotland locks I forgot to share with you in my last episode. I got these beautiful locks from Felter from Latvia. She shared her stash with me as she knows that I don't have any locks available. They're absolutely beautiful and I just keep opening up the packaging and admiring them, although I don't have any specific plans for them. So if you have any ideas for beautiful makes using these locks, you can share them in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Then there are two amazing things that happened last week that just sent me over the moon and I would like to share them with you. I first started felting by picking up some cheap kits online. We don't have a huge felting community here in Latvia and I don't know any felters personally, so I did what we do in these cases. I went online and searched needle filters, needle felting tutorials and videos on YouTube and there were two channels that has basically teached me everything I know. One of them being Felts by Philippa. You will probably already know that as I have mentioned her in every single of my felt chats. I love her style, her teaching methods and I have learned so so much from her as a felter and as a human being. She just mentioned my channel in her last studio vlog and I just can't express in words how that makes me feel when someone you really admire and look up to 
recognizes you and shares your little channel with others. So I'm extremely thankful and grateful for that. And a couple days later, one of my felting friends shared with me something I haven't noticed. I'm sure you already know about Living Felt and their Woolly Wednesdays. I have learned so much from them, not only technical things, but also the importance of trying things out experimenting and just being yourself and expressing yourself through the fiber. And last week they shared my work in the newsletter. They have featured the photo of my first ever 2D wheel painting. So I guess fame is getting into this filter and you can expect some attitude from me in the future. I'm just kidding, I just wanted to share with you how beyond grateful and excited I am and how much can Things like these just inspire to create more and to do more and share more. So now let's get back to my yesterday's recording and I will show you some other things I have created. As I already mentioned in my last felt chat, I have decided to open up my Etsy shop. Thing is, I don't have stock right now because I usually uh, make something I'm gifting for my friends and we don't even have a wolf painting from me at my house, so yeah, <laughs> I, I really have to work on these things. I'm working on behind the scenes video where I will share with you how I did all the things necessary to open up the shop and all the ups and downs and mistakes and little things that happened along the way. I had amazing plans to work on some paintings and cat caps last week and open up my shop on the weekend. Well, things didn't work out quite as planned because I got cold. So I wasn't able to work as intensely as I intended and all my plans just moved and changed. And then I made fantastic decision to work on Cat Cave really late at night. And I'm still living with this decision two days later. So I guess this is lesson that my Bedtime is really important to me. I'm feeling way better today and I don't have to take medication anymore. So I hope I will catch up and will be able to open up the shop as soon as possible. It will have smaller stock than I initially planned, but I will work on them and add new items later. So let's look at the paintings I have made. There is Hummingbird that has quite a positive reaction in my friends list and also on the internet. Great tit and a bullfinch. I like to work on one subject matter for a while because I can then study it and learn some practices I can use in next wool paintings. And I'm into birds right now. I have planned two other paintings and then maybe I will move on to other subject matters. I'm trying to document the process as closely as I can. And if I'm lucky and someone buys these wool paintings, then I will be able to work on similar ones in the future. But my wish list for bird species to catch in my wool paintings is really, really long and I'm adding to it every couple of days. So birds will definitely come back later. Another important category I have planned in my Etsy shop is cat caves. As you know, we have two adorable rescue kitties and I made them cat caves last summer. Basically, in the first month they were here. I hope I can add some pictures on the screen. They are matching their names because we have mango and blueberry. They really love their caves, but they have grown quite a bit. And now Mango is using his kitty cat cave for some wild playtime. My positive experience with felting the cat cave and amazing reaction from my cats have inspired me to create some more cat caves and sell them to the cat owners around the world. Here you can see one of my products. This is a blueberry design and this is the biggest size I will carry in my shop. Both of my cats can fit in there if they really want to cuddle, but it's really spacious and roomy for just one cat. When Mango saw this blueberry finished, he instantly declared it his, so I had to make another one for my Etsy shop. I don't know about you, but every time I enter wool shop, I want to buy every single color they have. And mine has about 130 colors 
and they come in these huge packages I have shared with you before. As you can see, I could finally fulfill part of my dream and purchase hilarious amounts of wool. I visited the wool shop the same day we went to the shelter related to my fundraiser I created for animals from Ukraine that are staying here in the shelter in Latvia. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who participated or shared my fundraiser. We raised amazing amounts and were able to bring high quality food to the animals. It was a pretty emotional day, so I am glad I had wool shop planned too. So I came out with 3.5 kilograms of wool. You can see some of it here. It's for my future cat care project, so you can add your guesses what hurts and other designs they might be in the comments but some of the rolls are already made into blueberries. In my last file chat I already mentioned this little pin that's designed by Zhenya, also known as the Lady Moth. And it's part of the Sunflower Field project that I will again link in the comments below and in the description box if you haven't heard about it or you would like to participate. When I initially made it for myself and my family members, I thought of it as a way to show support and raise awareness. I have realized that sometimes I live my life, and maybe some of you too, knowing my values and what I support and that I'm willing to help. And I take for granted that others will know it and ask me if needed. But that's not always the case. So sometimes a little sign like this can make others feel more safe, welcomed and help to make the first step to connection and communication way, way easier. So I just wanted to share this with you as I see great value in it. And maybe you as same as me and many of us are thinking every day that you would like to help more than these small things can be really really much so this episode has been short and sweet as just two weeks have passed from my last book chat but i promise you i have my energy back and i will oh my cats are coming so blueberry will join us and where was i oh i was saying that my energy is back and i promise you that the next fat chat will be filled with makes and other lovely things Congratulations to the winner of the giveaway again and see you in my next one. Bye!